Good morning. Welcome to a very wet, windy Wirral. It's not easy to say, considering I'm not even awake yet. So, today's bimble. I've stayed local again. I'm going to start off through Staunton Woods, rather lovely woods. I'm going to turn right, head down towards Lower Staunton, head cross country for a bit over the motorway towards Thingwall, Airby, Barnston, that sort of area. I'm going to scare back round, come back through Landerkin, not the cemetery, the village. Pick up one of the cycle paths, which is better than picking up a psychopath, apparently. And that's going to bring me back round to Lower Staunton. And then I'm going to head up Lever Causeway, back to Staunton Woods, and to the car. Now, for those who are subscribers who have watched previous videos, it won't be the Lever Causeway that I did in Brimstage, which is the video up here. This is the finished version. So, storms are forecast. <laughs> it's gonna get extremely windy. So, as long as I'm not blown out into another county, I'll see you in a bit. wind's been quite kind up to now so in about two hours time we should come out of here and go up there but about a mile after the start let's get ready to rumble and this week's conditions yep boggy really boggy but only for half of this so it's going to be a slog for the first half and then you kind of pick up hard standing and asphalt track so first mile and a half it's going to be a slog but then it settles down so let's go what wonder how come the trees gets undressed when it's cold and don't they miss the leaves they left behind could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Well, la. Uh, was like walking through treacle. I wonder why I'm not seeing very many people on this route today. Time for the Green Cross Code.
Right, initially I had plotted a route that avoided the second half of the fields because when I've walked it before they were they were boggy as hell when the other fields were just muddy so the fact that I've just been walking across fields that were moving I thought discretion the better part of valor I'll avoid them as I approached the road that goes down into Landicombe village I did spot the other footpath and I thought ah what the hell let's give it a go I'm now turning around I'm going to go back onto the road because this is just a mistake here we go again. Might get a t-shirt made of this. Some say that even a bad walk makes you feel thankful. I'm not sure who they are, but they're right. And I'm doubly thankful today. I'm thankful that I didn't go to the pub last night and drink too much. Because those fields today have absolutely killed me. You know, when you actually stand on a piece of ground and the whole square around it just moves not good and I'm also thankful for tarmac <laughs> doesn't always make for a nice walk but at least you can walk so I'm now making better time that is where the footpath would have taken me and I don't know whether you can see it or not but it's it's got lakes on it and uh, the start of it was already boggy as hell so I just thought nah so I'm on the road now into Landigan village um, but from here on in it's the uh, sort of asphalt cycle paths so it does go country cross country it goes cross, cross country god my lips won't work today yeah so it goes cross country it's just a lot easier to walk so what about Three and a half, four miles in. Should get easier on the way back now. See you in a bit. being honest best part of the hike is getting back to your car because <laughs> you know it's over great walk 6.3 miles in two hours 18 with a bit of faffing not bad for that old fella thanks for watching mm -hmm. 